What's cracking YouTube? Brandon here with Tech Audit TV, and as many of you know, I recently became a father about two months ago. Now, for those of you who are not parents, before you roll your eyes and find another video to watch, stick around because I think you're gonna find this piece of tech pretty interesting. So for the first month of me being a new dad, especially that first week, I got zero sleep. And the thing that kept me up was not a crying baby, but actually the fear of whether or not my baby is breathing at the moment. She could roll over or somehow cover her nose or mouth and stop breathing. So when it's dead quiet, I just psych myself out and I got no sleep. It was the worst. So I recently got in touch with the folks over at Outlet and they were cool enough to send me their smart baby monitoring system to try it out. Yes, Outlet did hook me up with the free system, but that is it. I was not paid in any way to give them some sort of outstanding review. So I'm gonna be super honest with you folks in this video. This is not your average baby monitor though. This is a special smart sock that your baby wears that tells you your baby's heart rate as well as its oxygen levels. So before we get too deep, let's take a step back and look at how this works. Your outlet set will come with four different socks. These socks vary in size depending on the age or weight of your baby. The socks are actually washable as well. So you can take the sensor out of the fabric and at any time throw them in the washer to give them a good clean, which is a must for any baby product of this type. When your sock is ready for use, you just slip in the sensor into the fabric and that does the actual monitoring. This is basically the same technology that's used at hospitals to track your heart rate and oxygen levels. The sensor itself has a pretty good battery life. It will get you about 21 hours of continued use. And when your baby isn't sleeping, you can either turn the sensor off or you can just plug it into the back of the base station that comes with it and that will immediately start charging your baby's sensor. The base station is the heart of Owlet. It's designed to notify you if your baby's heart rate or oxygen levels get too low or too high. For the heart rate, if it gets below 60 beats per minute or above 220 beats per minute, you'll be notified. For the oxygen level, if it gets below 80, you're gonna get notified. Not only will your base station light up and play a noise, but you'll also get notifications on your phone if something goes wrong. The Outlet app is available on both Android and iOS, and not only will you get notifications sent to your phone, but you can also log in at any time and view your baby's heart rate and oxygen levels. Now there's three types of notifications that Outlet will send you. It'll flash yellow if it's having a difficult time getting a reading. This is usually triggered by your sock not being placed properly, or maybe your baby's in a swing or you're holding it and it's causing some sort of false motions. And that's where the Outlet will then send that yellow notification, letting you know that it's struggling to get a good reading. Hence why I only use the Outlet when my baby is sleeping, therefore avoiding all of the false notifications. If the sock is out of range from the base station, if the base station lost connection, or if your sock has a really low battery, your base station will light up blue. For both the yellow and the blue notification, the base station and your phones will play a sweet little rendition of the lullaby, Hush Little Baby. I assume the reason they did that is to not have your baby freak out over a potentially false notification. And in fact, your baby might even groove a little bit to the music. I know I do sometimes. And then there's the red notification. This one is not so pleasant. And if you're seeing red, it's because Outlet is detecting either low or high heart rate or oxygen levels. The range between the base station and the sock is pretty good. I've taken the sock all over the house trying to get it to disconnect and I could not. This is obviously gonna vary house to house. The less walls your outlet has to travel through the better, but I would give the range two thumbs up. Outlet did a really good job when it comes to the fabric. It's super soft, it's super comfortable. My only complaint is that the design of the sock is a little bit complicated. It definitely takes some practice getting this sock onto your baby. It can especially be difficult when your baby is kicking his or her legs all over the place and you're trying to get this sensor onto their foot to get an accurate reading. Now to Outlet's credit, they did just recently release a brand new sock design. And from what I've seen on the internet, it looks much better. It's still not quite where I would like it to be. I honestly would just love to see 
something where it's literally just like a sock that you can just slide right on. There's no straps or anything. Uh, maybe there's things I'm not thinking about that make that design not possible. I would like to see it be a little bit more intuitive, but it's definitely a step up from the current sock that I have. Now, if you're an existing Outlet customer and you want the new updated socks, all you have to do is go online and order it. There is no charge for the socks themselves. All you have to do is pay the shipping costs to get it sent out to you. So did the Outlet give me peace of mind that it advertises on the box? I would say yes. And I'm not just saying that because Outlet was nice enough to send me one. For the first month of being a father, like I said earlier, I had no Outlet. And then this past month, I've been using the Outlet and I have noticed a night and day difference between how I think at night and how much sleep I'm getting. There's something about waking up in the middle of the night, looking over at that base station, seeing that green glowing light and knowing that everything is okay. My motto is, if it ain't red, go back to bed. Now remember, the outlet is not a life-saving device. You still need to be a responsible parent and make sure that your kid is sleeping in a safe sleeping environment. But it's just nice to have that extra pair of eyes monitoring my child so that I can focus on getting a good night's rest. Now at a price tag of $249, the outlet is definitely a luxury item. If you're watching this video in 2017, that means that you have grown up without an outlet and you are just fine, alive, and still able to watch YouTube videos. This is usually the biggest reason not to get an outlet and understandably so. But when you go even just a week like I did without the outlet, uh, the $249 suddenly feels like a drop in the bucket because those precious hours of sleep are gone and you want so bad to have them back. So in that sense, uh, it is worth the, the extra sleep that you'll get by having that peace of mind that Outlet gives. So while I would like to see the Outlet be at a lower price, I would still say the 249 is worth it. The Outlet is packed full of cool tech and as a tech enthusiast myself, I knew I had to have this. So that's it for today, everybody. If you liked the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you think of the Outlet in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have questions, feel free to ask those below and I'll do my best to get to all of those questions uh, if there's anything I didn't cover in this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can do so right here. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Until next time, I'm Brandon Hassler and this is Tech Audit TV.